Hi, my name is Anika and welcome to the Home Automation X channel. It's been a while since I released a video on the Amazon Echo and a lot has changed in the past six months. So I'll be releasing videos for the next week, every single day on everything Alexa. Before I get into this video, it is brought to you by Home Automation X, providing you smart home tech videos in a fun and cheerful way. Subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of all of our videos, which will also notify you when we go live during our live streams. If you go to amazon.com slash shop slash X, you can see products we do reviews on with the pricing all on one convenient page. Using this link also helps us out so we can purchase new products. Also visit us on Patreon to see our videos weeks in advance before they go on YouTube, including all of our bloopers. And as a bonus, you will be automatically entered to win everything in our massive unboxing giveaways. I'm going to start off this mini series by creating groups for my Amazon Echo. So this is very useful because these bulbs and these plugs here are going to be controlled in a group as I walk through each room individually. This is great because I won't have to remember each name of every device. I can simply just walk from room to room and Amazon Echo will know exactly what I'm referring to. So for example, this is useful in sense of when I put the Echo in a room with these lights and these plugs right here, I can control all of these through my kitchen. I can control them all together. So if I was to walk from room to room, let's say I put another one into a separate room, it will control all the plugs and all the lights in that room as well. So this is handy when you don't want to remember the names of your devices individually. This will make more sense when I show it to you in the app. So from the devices tab at the bottom here, I will click on the plus to add a new group. Then I say add group. I will call it kitchen and I will click on next. I will add these two echo devices I have on the table here. Um, when I choose from some devices. You can see I have a lot of devices I can choose as I scroll down to take a look, but I will choose the cabinet lights, the chandelier which is above my head, these two bulbs in my lamps called color bulb one and color bulb two, and finally this lamp that I have behind me plugged into the smart plug called kitchen lamp. I am now done, so I will click save. You can see that the group um, added to my screen. Now, if you, the, if you ask Echo to play music, it will pick either these two here, but I can also set up a preferred speaker or choose a music group like everywhere, or I can choose kitchen. So I will select the music group kitchen, which consists of these two speakers right here. Now let's test it out. Since a request will be coming from either of these two speakers, she'll know that we're in the kitchen. I won't be pressing, I will be saying the wake word, I won't be saying the wake word. I will be pressing the button because um, I don't want to wake up your Alexa at home. Turn on lights. Okay. So as you can see, these two lights here turned on, my chandelier above my head turned on, as well as the kitchen cabinet lights and the lamp behind me here. Turn off lights. Okay. So now all of our lights are off. Turn lights blue. Okay. So as you can see, none of the lights turned on except for these two here. And that's because these are the only ones that are able to change colors. Turn lights red. Okay. So both of these ones are the only ones that turn red. Dim lights 20%. Okay. So as you can see, these are the only two that are dimming to 20% because these are the only dimmable lights here. Dim lights 100%. Or more like set lights to 100%. Okay. <sighs> no, I didn't say that right. Let's try that one more time. Set lights to 100%. Okay. Here we go. And last but not least, play music. OK. 
Okay, playing your most played songs. So as I'm listening, it's actually playing music off both of his speakers right here. It's playing it off this one here, and we also got it playing off this speaker here. Somebody save your soul cause you were now I can create a room for the living room, the family room, the bedroom, and etc. So this guy over here is not, we haven't created a group for it. So I'm going to say, Alexa, turn on lights. Sorry, I didn't find a device named lights. So because there's no group created, it doesn't really know. Alexa, turn on kitchen. Okay. So as you can see, it turned on the kitchen lights. So our chandelier is connected to a switch like this and our cabinet lights as well as our lamp behind me is connected to a plug like this one here. So let me show you how to control them as a light. So to control your smart plugs as a light, you click on devices and then you click on plugs. I'll click on kitchen lamp here and notice it says plug is on. Then click the gear icon, then I'll change the type from a plug to a light. You will notice it says lights on. It also disappeared from the plugs category and is now in a lights category. So I will also do this for the chandelier and the cabinet lights as I want both of these to show up as lights when I control them in the group. Finally, this step will help you speak naturally to your echo. So you don't have to worry about remembering the specific name for each device. So you can create more than one group for each device. That way you can trigger that device with more than one name. For example, if you have a light above your stairs, you can simply call it upstairs, you can call it hallway, you can call it stairs. So you simply just need to say one of the group names in order to turn them all on or all off. So I wanted to know what your thoughts were on this video guys because I will be releasing these videos for the next seven days and I'll be creating a playlist that will be end at the end of this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about this. And thank you so much for watching this video guys. Please don't forget to subscribe if you yet haven't. Follow us on Instagram, check us out on Facebook and check out the rest of our videos here on the right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.